cup. I knew you would love this cup. And you know what? You haven't even seen the edge yet. Let's pop the hood on this, baby. You, you have not seen any. So, Tony, you want to talk options? Let's talk some options for a minute. Look at this. You got a luggage rack. You got tinted windows. You got the fog lights. Power steering, power brakes, windows, doors. Everything. Loaded. Huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for coming by. Sorry. Is that the uh, cassette? A cassette? You want a cassette? Yeah, I got a lot of tapes. This car will come with a cassette. Because I want to buy a car! All I need to know is... What is it going to take to see that this car gets driven off the lot tonight? <laughs> it's a big decision, actually. Uh, of course it's a big decision. That's why I'm here. I'm going to help you with this. I'm telling you. Is this, is this a beauty or what? We're, we're already closed. We're, <laughs> sorry about that, but I, I saw the... Uh, $64. Don't lie to me. I want to hear from you. Um, is this a car you love? Listen to this. What we have got is a beautiful first-time buyer's plan. It's... What am I saying? What am I... We stopped that promotion last month. Uh, last month? Yeah. Um, wait a minute. Wait. I got an idea. Did you tell me you love this Look, car? Look, my friend, I, I don't want to have any trouble, all right? We're, we're getting ready to close now, and this... Maybe we ought to go inside and fill out the paperwork. First, you gotta promise me. You gotta promise me you're not gonna tell, not even your friends, not even your best friends what I'm gonna offer you here, all right? Yeah, I promise. All right, and not even your relatives, Tony. I'm serious, I couldn't stay in business with what I'm gonna do for you. Listen to this. I'm, Tony, would you forgive me for a second? I want you to sit behind that wheel. The keys are in there. Turn on that stereo, see how it sounds to you, and would you excuse me for just a minute? Sure. I'm gonna be right back. Sure. Okay? Put it in a briefcase. All right. I need a wife and two kids. Please, please. It's my little kid's birthday tomorrow. Please. Shut up! Here. I'll do anything to say here. Here. Just don't hurt me, please. Please don't hurt me. Here. What the hell? Oh, God! Oh. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony, what's happening? Tony, uh, the wife and I have been thinking of buying a car. You know anybody? Sure he does. Tony knows this place you can go get cars for no money down and no credit check. 
supposed to ain't got no more cars either. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. So listen, I, I heard their, the insurance companies are offering a, a new rate. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, big discount, as long as you don't know Tony. <laughs> I hear you're looking for a new car. You know, I don't think this is very funny. What happened to the shooter? He got away. He escaped in the car that you were going to buy? Well, you're right. That isn't very funny. Humiliated. What is it? Is it because I'm a rookie? Is that what it is? Is that why I can't win with you guys? No, being a rookie has got nothing to do with it. If I blown those guys away instead of handling with my fist, that, that would have made me a hero, right? No, not a hero. You don't have to kill somebody to get the message across. No, you don't. But at least you're never misunderstood. Crash 12, Roger, show us responding code 3. Shot my baby sister in the head! I should blow you away right now. Hey man, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Shut up! Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Thanks. For what? For this. Oh, you mean for saving your life? I can handle it, man. Oh, sure, I know, I know. Oh, hey, by the way, you might need this someday. Come on, shit. Conversation. That's right. Until you're sued a few times, you can't <laughs> get into this. You know what I'm saying? At least yeah. once. Don't let him get me killed. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. Thanks. Uh, no, Bev's leaving me for somebody else. Really? Yeah. So, who's a lucky guy? You know, it's a very insensitive thing for you to say, man. I'm in pain here, you know? Yeah, you're right. Who's a lucky girl? <laughs> you're a real asshole, Flanagan. Oh, boy, are you brutal with those one liners. Huh. Hey, I heard you tried to scare someone to death today. 
things with your bare hands. Lighten up, Flanagan. Why don't you have another keg of scotch? Yesterday you were a hero. Today you could have been dead meat if your partner hadn't been there. Well, that's what partners are for, aren't they? Back each other up, do stuff like that? Yeah, well, I'm glad you two guys found each other anyway. Now you got a designated driver. <laughs> you know, I'm not embarrassed by the fact that I can recognize myself in a mirror when I leave a bar. And you shouldn't be. He's right, you are an asshole. They're both very, very sensitive today, aren't they? Us. You boys cops? Do we look like cops? He does. Yeah, well, that's about it for me, guys. See you tomorrow. Well, I was just leaving myself. Mind giving me a ride home? I actually... Yeah, no, 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 no. You, you go ahead. You don't want her walking home alone, not in this neighborhood. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. All right. You like that? Damn right. No wonder your wife is leaving you. Why you say that? The chick is a guy. How did it go last night? It was a strange evening. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. Cahill, coffee, please. Do you know what the cholesterol content of that is? You add that to your drinking and your rage. Can you give me the ketchup, please. Pest. I have your best interest at heart here. I saw a guy in the news the other night. He was celebrating his 100th birthday. Said the secret to a long life is to have two shots of scotch every day, a good cigar every afternoon, and lots and lots of fried foods. I don't believe it. Hmm? Shoot yourself. You just made that up, didn't you? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. OK, well, if you made it up, what's the point? The point is this. If you stop pestering me, I'll stop lying to you. Cahill, more coffee, please. so long. Watch this guy, will you? Pretty big man with a gun in your hand. Shut your mouth. 
If you didn't have that gun. Yeah? You'd what? Tonight, you set her on Main Street. You're gonna be locked up tonight. Yeah, well, don't bet on it. Nine o'clock, chicken shit. You got the ball. Yeah. yeah. Listen, you mind if we stop and get a little something to eat? I got a little hungry. Shut up, drive. Huh? Just, you sure? Drive. Take the money and forget the drugs. But Mama keeps track of stuff. All right. Hey, thanks, mister. Going home, okay? Haven't you heard? He's doing a high noon at the boys' club tonight. Well, maybe he's obsessed with his manhood, huh? After his she-mail last night. <laughs> it's not very nice, Flanagan. Ah, the world ain't nice. Big deal. Cop gets suckered by TV. He deserves whatever happens to him. Maybe the kid needs some time to adjust. He's a little different, that's all. <laughs> well, the time he gets with the program. What program is that? Drunken asshole program. At least I still got my wife. <laughs> yeah. We should be home right about now, sucking off a vacuum salesman. How do you know she's got an appointment with a sweeper man? I don't. Um, I'm sure it's perfectly innocent. You asshole. <laughs> what was that all about? My soon to be ex told me last week. She has an appointment tonight with the sweeper salesman with Flanagan's wife. My bad. <laughs> so, uh, Tony ought to be warming up right about now, huh? Yeah, so? Nothing. Just, you know, it's gonna be outnumbered as well. Look, Cap, I'm not going, okay? Yeah, okay, well, you know, I was just saying, you know, him being your partner and all. I said I'm not going, and that's final. Okay. I was on my way home. Besides, I told you the guy wouldn't show up, didn't I? So, 
You got a thousand cops with guns waiting outside? Just you and me, buddy. Me? What'd you say? I was saying the Lord's Prayer. Let's get it on. In the ring. All you guys chill. Johnny, chill. Do what I say. Thanks. Don't thank me, man. You're mine next time. Right. Same time, same place. I'll be here. I thought that went pretty well. <laughs> the rest of the world is a little wacky. Thank you. Sure. Dinner was fabulous, really. Thank you. Daddy tells me you don't approve of his eating habits. No, he doesn't exactly eat from the Pritikin menu. And when you could cook for him, I uh, think that maybe... Hey, you think my daughter's got nothing to do to sit around here all day cooking for me? Calm down, Daddy. He's not attacking me. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But it's just that some people get the wrong idea. They think that just because Susan is... The word is blind. Well, the truth is that she takes better care of me than I take care of myself. <laughs> That's not too hard to believe. She also teaches music five days a week at UCLA, volunteers three nights a week at the Westside Braille Institute, takes care of the house, cleans my clothes, takes care of the garden. What do you do? He does his best to try to make me feel needed. I do a hell of a job of that, don't I, kiddo? You do. <laughs> Anyone for dessert? I don't know. Oh, hey, Tony, you got to taste the Susan made it herself. I bought it myself. She is quite a woman. How come you didn't introduce her to me before? Because she is quite a woman. You must get uh, quite a view with that thing, huh? Garnett, my wife. She bought it for me when we moved in. On a clear night with a full moon, and you can see forever. Take a look. Oh, 
yeah, that's great. Hey, look out, look out! I'm, I'm sorry. I feel so clumsy. No, 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 it's my fault. I, this chair, I pulled it. No, it's not your fault. You had no way of knowing. I'll go clean it up. Susan, honey, it's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry. Look, I told you, it's not your fault. No, okay, I just, I just want things to go right. I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you out. You don't have to ask me out. No, I know, I don't have to do anything, it's just... So you got this thing about being seen in public with the beautiful women. I don't think so. So you're busy Friday night, right? No. We are now. So I hear you're taking my daughter out. Yeah, on Friday. She doesn't need charity. Yeah, I know that. I'm, she's a beautiful girl. You're I damn just... right she is, and she's a lot more than that. And don't you ever forget it. I won't. Night. Twenty-seven. <sighs> Twenty-eight. Go all the way down. Twenty-nine. <sighs> You can do it. <laughs> Shit, is he good or what? Hey, uh, yeah. Um, you know, you know, we could uh, take some money off the sheriff's no, department with this. We guy. make money later. Pay me now. Well, I know you're planning a drink. I know you. Pay it's me ten dollars. No, fifteen. Fifteen. When did it become fifteen dollars? Oh, oh wait, I was telling you. Listen. So, so anyhow, the kid challenges me to a boxing match. <laughs> can you believe that? <laughs> so when are you gonna fight him? Oh, what are you serious? Well, yeah, why not? Tony fought a kid the other night. Oh, shit. That's how this whole thing got started. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot, Tony. Well, I don't think it's such a terrible idea. A couple of tough guys on each side square off. Nobody gets dead. Nah, I don't know. Some girl challenged me yesterday. Oh, it's an epidemic. You see what you started here, Tony? I told her I'd meet her tonight. I wouldn't miss this for the world. You need to show up tonight, aren't you, Ernie? I don't know, maybe. You're not telling us you forgot how to box, are you? Hell no. Hey, I can still kick some ass. Come on, what's your name? Are you all right? What's your name? Hi, Ernie Blake. Adam, boy. I hereby take you, Madonna, to be my lawful wedded wife. Get him out here. Oh, come on, uh, come on, come on. This you know, I'm yeah. not normally attracted to fat chicks, but I always end up with them. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh, all right. No, shit oh, ass. oh, my hair. We're looking pretty good. We're looking like shit. Look around, Johnny. What'd you see? I see a gym full of cops and homies, man. What I see is a serious decrease in sales. A lot of people sitting here yelling and screaming over nothing when they should be buying. I don't like people getting in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Show me. Show me.
Hey, Tyrone. What's going on? Nothing, man. I'm just going home. Like the fights? Yeah, they're okay. Well, I don't like them. I ain't planning on going back. Take it, man. Friends, right? Right. Get on home now. This is a dangerous neighborhood, unless you got the right kind of friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You be careful with my daughter, do you understand? Yes, sir. Brian. First date with my daughter, you can call me, sir. Yes, sir. You be careful, honey. I will. She wouldn't rather take my car. No, I love motorcycles. Yeah? Yeah. You ever driven a, um... It's a wonder you can talk at all with your foot in your mouth all the time. Yeah, I get a lot of practice. So where are we going? Well, I thought we'd go to the college and take in some classical music. I heard they're having some kind of chamber music tonight. Is that what you usually do on a first date? Take a girl to hear chamber music? No. Look, don't treat me like I have the plague. Either treat me like a woman or we'll just forget the whole thing. Right. Okay. So I want you to think of your favorite romantic place and take me there. <laughs> I don't think you'd like it. Tony. Okay. All right, here we are. Hold on a sec. Whoa. Okay, give me your hand. I remember a view exactly like the one you described. Dad took Mom and I to dinner at the Towers. It was the most beautiful sunset I ever saw. It was incredible. That was on my 16th birthday, less than a year before the accident. You know, you don't have to talk about that if you don't want to. No, it's all right. I got over the unfairness of being blind real fast. After all, my mother was dead. And Dad. In a strange way, his needing me so badly really helped me out. For nearly six months after the accident, he would put me to bed every night and try to act cheerful. And then he would go in his room and cry himself to sleep. I just figured my job was to help him stop crying. You're a very brave woman. Strong, maybe. But brave? I don't know. What other choice did I have? I wanted to live, and I wanted my dad to live. So I didn't really have any other choice but to be strong. You make it sound so simple. Life is simple. People just make it complicated. No one's ever touched you exactly like that before, and no one ever will again. No one's ever kissed you exactly like that before. And no one... I didn't lay a hand on her, okay? Yeah, I know, you did worse. What does that mean? She likes you. She likes me. Don't sound so happy about it, all right? Why? You know, I like her, too. Well, it means that she's probably going to want to see you again. What's wrong with that? I'm not such a bad guy, am I? You don't get it, do you? 
I mean, you just don't fucking get it, do you? My daughter deserves more than I'm not such a bad guy. Oh, she deserves more than a cop, right? No, not more. Just not a cop. Why? What is it? The pay? Is it the hours? What? No, because 10 years from now, some asshole blows your brains out, and I'm not around. Who's going to take care of my daughter, huh? Tell me, who's going to take care of my daughter? Who? You're going to have to get yourself an agent, kid. What are you talking about? What, you don't read the papers? You no, know why? L.A. Tribune's been coming down to the fights. Someone told him you started it. Shit. You're an inner city hero, kid. Get used to it. Congratulations. You just became a target. Hey, what do you make of those two in the motel parking lot? I just don't want you to misunderstand me. No, I know how you feel. Susan's... Susan's your daughter. You haven't got a clue as to how I feel. Susan is a very special person, and I, and I don't mean special like handicapped. When her mother died, I felt like the whole world was gonna cave in on me. I kissed her goodbye one morning, and a couple hours later, she's lying under a semi. I never got to say... I just never got to say a lot of things. Susan and I, we depend on each other a lot. And every once in a while, some guy will come along. And, and why not? I mean, she's a great-looking girl. And then they start thinking that just because she's blind, that she ought to be happy that she's going out with anybody. You see, she can't always tell that these guys are bullshit artists. And, and once in a while, she starts liking one of them. And I'm just real protective, you know? Just real protective. Nobody is gonna make my baby cry. I don't give a damn how protective I am. She doesn't harm anybody. And I'll be damned if anybody is gonna hurt her. Not anymore. You know what I'm saying? Brian, I'm not like those other guys. So, what do you think's going on with those two? Let's go find out. Yeah, let's. Officer? May I ask what you're doing here? Nothing. Are you waiting for someone? No. We're just talking. It's kind of a strange place to stop and chat, huh? Are you registered here? No. Look, there's some kind of law against talking. Who's that? Nobody. Where is she? I don't know what you're talking about. Where is she? This is police brutality. It's going to be a lot more than that unless you tell me where she is. Now, where is she? Team, she's in room 15. Keys. Give me your keys. Uh, uh. Your wrist. Give me your wrist. Open up! Open up! Yes? Where's the girl? What girl? It's over, pal. We just talked to her parents. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Look, you can't come in here. You can't do this. This is illegal, man. You just can't do this. This isn't legal, man. Hey, shut up! Are you all right, honey? You're not daddy. I want you to know that 
everything is going to be all right. Would you like me to call you daddy? No. I want you to go in the bathroom and put your clothes on, okay? Okay. Cost you. It was worth it. Gerardo doesn't want you hanging with that cop. I don't care what Gerardo thinks. You yeah, can we, stop hanging around. Now. I'm telling you something, man. Since when you become a cop? Hey, what's the trouble? My little brother doesn't like cops. He runs in the family. What's this all about? The neighborhood is more than just streets and buildings. Sometimes it's guns and knives. Yeah, well, it used to be more than that. People need to be reminded what they already know. I gotta go. Do you have an autograph? You're pretty cynical, you know that? Yeah, what well, comes with the territory. You know, at least some things are getting better. Still the same shit going down outside. Yeah, but maybe less than last week. Maybe. Hey, Tony. Yeah? You ain't the worst cop I ever met. Thanks. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Get a haircut, man. Steven, you okay? All right, man. Hey, guys, let's close up, okay? Let's close shop. It's getting late. Hey, Tony! Compadre! Give it up, man. You looking good. You got a minute for an old friend? Yeah, sure. And we come a long way since the hood. <laughs> yeah, in some ways. Look, I know we live on opposite sides of the street. At least we learn to respect each other. I think maybe we learn to forget each other. Forget? You saved my life once, T. I ain't gonna never forget that. It's no big deal. Yeah. Well, it was a big deal to me. The guy had a gun to my head and was gonna blow it off. You know, you would have done the same thing for me. Now, people like to think they do the right thing. Fact is, man, most people ain't got the balls. Charter, what is this? This ain't no walk down memory lane. Things you got going on down here? Fights. Yeah. You plan on making this some kind of regular deal? <sighs> I haven't really thought about much. Well, I'd think about it if I were you. Sounds like a threat. No, I never threaten a friend. Well, we're keeping these kids off the streets. That can't be too good for business, can it? Oh, you know, some people might look at it that way. How do you look at it, Gerardo? I look out for my friends as long as I can. Hey, man. Everybody. Take care of yourself, T. Yeah, you do the same. So I hear this friend of yours is a tough guy. He's the only guy that ever beat me. No kidding. Gerardo and I met when we were about uh, 10 years old. We were real poor, and this guy
guy ran the martial arts studio in the neighborhood. And they figured it was better we were fighting in the ring instead of cutting our throats in the street. Makes sense. By the time we're 15, we'll be the best. Period. I learned a lot of things from our instructor. The most important thing I learned, discipline. Yeah, well, uh, you are the most disciplined son of a bitch I ever met. Thanks. I'm not so sure it's a compliment. Meaning what? Well, the way I see it, you're not so much dedicated to clean living as you are addicted to discipline. What's the difference? You're like a born-again alcoholic, squirting off the sauce. You can't stand to see other people drink. It's because I know what it does to them. No. You know what it does to you. Bullshit, I don't even drink. I never have. I'll bet somebody close to you has. Look, kid, something's chasing you. And until you look at it straight in the face, you'll always be running. See you tomorrow. That's all right, ma'am. I'm a cop. No need to tell me that. I've seen your fight before. Pretty bad for a white boy. <laughs> Thanks. Say, uh, aren't you the guy that they've been writing about in them papers? The guy that's doing all of this? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks. But I still hope the brothers will be a white ass. So, um, how many of you have ever, uh, seriously considered being a police officer? Well, you know, uh, you know, being a law enforcement professional can be very rewarding. How much money can I make? Um, well, you start at about $30,000 a year. Shit. I made more than that selling crack last month. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maybe you should come work for me. <laughs> no, they're paying too good in jail. You get to beat people up, man? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Well, uh... Yeah, it can be. <laughs> of course, you gotta watch out for those video cameras these days. Um... Anyway... Anyway, uh, any other questions? How come cops are such assholes? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. See, mainly it's because we gotta deal with punks like you. So I'm a punk? Yeah, you're a punk. Uh, so just because you're a cop, that means you get to shoot innocent people? Innocent people, huh? You know what innocent is? Innocent is a three-year-old girl that you guys shot the other night in a drive-by. We didn't shoot nobody, Oh, man. you didn't, huh? You're no. a gang member, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that was a gang shooting, and you're part of all of that. Yeah, well, you a cop, ain't you? Yeah. So how come you shot my homeboy Smiley last year? I didn't shoot 29 your times in the back. Smiley, 20. Yeah, you what did. What was he doing, huh? He wasn't doing nothing. Oh, man. he, he was wasn't going doing nothing. He was going home. Yeah, he was with going your home. $30,000 a crack in his pocket. Hey, man, maybe. Smiley yeah. didn't sell. Oh, man. Smiley no, didn't Smiley, sell. He's no. like, just because we live in this neighborhood, everybody sells. Yeah, yeah, I think you Public speaking was never Flanagan's strong suit. Yeah, everybody don't sell. Oh, I see. You cops always think that. Oh, we always think that. Well, look how you think. Look how you think. $30,000 last year, like that's something. You see how you act? You see how you act? You see, see how, you, how act? you act? Hey, give me a hand, will you? Yeah. Hey, uh, I heard you've been taking some flat. Some people don't like the company I've been keeping with lately. This place really changed, though, huh? Yeah, it's becoming a neighborhood again. I mean, it doesn't solve everything, but it's a start. Yeah, I'm glad. Think, it all happened because I called you out. No, 
Happened because some people took advantage of a chance when they got one. Hey, Jimmy! Hey, man, I gotta go. Take care, right? Hey, you think I should give her some kind of a, you know, an advantage? What kind of an advantage do you suggest? <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to embarrass things. Well, Brian, they'll be fine. Come on, they'll be fine. Oh, really? Hey, look, Tony can score, right? I can score. Tony, I Tony mean, can what? Tony can keep score. You can what? Brian, 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 Brian come on, just Brian. come with us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yes. I'll be right over here. Okay. If you want to come with us, Doug, you can come with us. No, that's all right. I'll be right over here. Right. I'll be back shortly. Come on, okay. come on. I'll come be on. back come on. shortly. Yeah, just, I want your opinion on some balls. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? I'm Tony. Glad to meet you. He really does like you. <laughs> Your dad and I don't exactly see eye to eye on a lot of things. Like dating me? That's a big one. He is really protective. But it's more than that. Next year will be 20 years, and when he doesn't have the job anymore, what's left? I don't think your dad likes the idea of you getting together with a cop. Are we getting together? It kind of feels that way, doesn't it? All I know is it feels good. Hold up, they get nervous. I don't know. Them? I hear these uh, homeboys brought in some kind of a ringer. A ringer, yeah. Well, we're ready for them. What can they have, huh? Tommy! Tommy! Let's do it! They brought someone in so you wouldn't be bored, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna beat him ugly. Okay, hey, Tommy, it's not over until the fat lady sings, right, pal? That's right. That's right, and you don't forget who's gonna buy the pizza. Tonight. You got it. Movement, Tommy, movement. up a notch or two.
I thought you told me this guy could fight. He used to fight pro, man. You made me look like a fool. Find a cop when you need one. <coughs> Don't try to talk, man. It doesn't matter, man. I've seen guys take it like this before. Get an ambulance! I can make it. Did Johnny do this? No. Uh, doesn't take a genius to figure it out. <coughs> Gerardo. <coughs> he didn't pull the trigger, but he bought the guns. Hang <coughs> in there, buddy. You are gonna make this, man. That's it. Hurry up! That's it. Hold on, man. Fight it. Hang in there. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy. Too bad about the kid. His name was Jimmy. Well, it could have been you. Word on the street is it's over. What's all over? The papers are making it sound like the dealers have taken back the street. They say you aren't going to show tonight. What does it got to do with me anyhow? Whether you like it or not, kid. People think the fights were your idea. Problem is, the fights are getting into Gerardo's pocket. What does the neighborhood think about it? They're scared. I mean, if the dealers don't scare the cops away. I heard they're gonna kill a cop if you show up tonight. So what do you think he's gonna do? I don't give a damn what he does. As long as he doesn't get dead. You know, you were uh, right all along. About what? My life is just one giant goddamn monument to self control. But you know why? Why? Because people who don't have control are losers. My mother was a loser. My father was a loser. They drank themselves to fucking death. <sighs> you know, they say that uh, alcoholism is hereditary. Well, they say a lot of things. You are not your parents. You're goddamn right I'm not. I hated them. And I can't. No, 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 I won't be like them. You know, Tony, sometimes a person pushes against a thing so hard, 
that he makes it happen. I think that's going to happen to me? This has got nothing to do with your parents. You're running away from yourself. <sighs> Are you going to show up tomorrow night? I never ran from a fight, ever. It's not good for the soul. Getting your head blown off is not so hot for the body, either. I ain't afraid of Gerardo. Look, there is such a thing as a healthy fear. It's kept me alive for years. There's no shame in it, believe me. Jimmy trusted me. A lot of those guys trusted me. <laughs> Hell, even some of them trusted you. So what? So what? None of them trusted us two weeks ago. We're doing something worthwhile down there. Well, let me tell you something. It's not your job to save the whole world. I'm not trying to save the world. I just want to save that little piece that I live in. Baby, you know you're looking real good tonight. You know I like that. It's good. Come on, get in. Yeah. Mm. This is it. Let me get the fuck. Yeah, what's up? Nah, man, that was real sloppy. Now, this got to be real smooth. No mistakes. I understand he's dating some chick. Bitch, aren't you? Oh, God, Jesus Christ, I gotta kill you! Oh, God! 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 O
the time she falls asleep on the couch. You can wait on the porch. What's wrong? I got my daughter. What are you talking about? Your friend left a note. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you stay here. Stay by the phone just in case. See Gerardo. He ain't in. I mean, he ain't in for me. Either way, he ain't in. So why don't you just run along? Next time, call ahead. Where is she? Where's who? Anybody else touches me, even touches me, he's dead. Don't play tough guy with me, man. I don't play, T. I kicked your ass 10 years ago. I can do it again. Where's Susan? I don't know, but I heard things. What have you heard? I heard she'll be released unharmed after you don't show up tonight. You really think I don't show tonight, you're gonna win these streets back? For a while. Nothing lasts forever, I know that. But I'm a businessman, T. It's nothing personal. It's business. I could make you tell. That would definitely be a mistake, T. That's the second time I saved your life tonight, T. That makes us even.
Where is she? What'd he say? What'd he say? He said he's gonna let her go if I don't show up tonight. Well, what are you gonna do? I'd like to just... Hey, listen, I don't give a good goddamn what you'd like to do. We're talking about my daughter here. Think, is this guy gonna let her go or what? Look, all I know is if I don't show up tonight, Gerardo takes these streets back. And no matter what I do afterwards, this neighborhood's gonna know he backed me down. Well, I'm sorry, kid. I know how you feel, but, uh... No, you don't know how I feel, but don't worry. Susan's safety is a lot more important than my pride. Um, I don't know the exact address, but it's the second exit north of Santa Monica on the 405. Yeah. And then... Oh! Oh! How does she know where she is? It was a game we played when she was a kid. If she knew exactly where she was, she felt less handicapped. The second exit off the floor? Yeah, Mulholland. Big deal. It narrows it down to about a million people. No. Down the one. She said Gerardo's. That would be the last place I would think to look for her. Too bad he can't see what I got for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna get us all killed. Now what are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do now? <laughs> the hell's that?
You understand I gotta do this. I understand. Dorado killed my brother. I thought you could use some help. Thanks. Walk, T. Too many people walk away. At least I gave you a choice, man. No, you don't give choices. You give orders. And you're done giving orders on these streets. I'm done talking.
This wasn't even your fight. These are my streets. I should have made it my fight. In the I... long run, it ain't gonna make no difference. It does to me. You look like shit. <laughs> Thanks. There's somebody here for you. <laughs> 